great weather and astonishing beaches. Fado, the national musical treasure. Mediterranean diet, that means healthy and tasty food. Cristiano Ronaldo, the world's best football player. More than 1,800 kilometers of sea coast, that includes two cluster islands, Madeira and Azores. The biggest waves ever surfed by Garrett McNamara. And we are the country with the highest seafood consumption per capita in Europe, ranked at the third place in the entire world. So, are you already convinced that Portugal is a small country, but plenty of wonders? And behind me, there's one more. The Pavilion of Knowledge Ciencia Viva Science Center. This is the headquarters of Ciencia Viva, Portuguese Agency for Science and Technology Culture, and is the largest of a network of 21 science centers all over Portugal. Let's look inside. There's always more to know. Knowing how to do things and letting everyone know it too. Everything at the Pavilion of Knowledge has a story and is there for a reason. Knowledge never stops. It's in perpetual motion. Curious? Come inside and find out for yourself. Technology is everywhere, and here everyone learns new things while exploring with enthusiasm. At every turn, you can interact, think, and learn with your hands. The Pavilion of Knowledge is for everyone. Science is unstoppable. It's always evolving. And with each experiment, you'll feel the pleasure of discovery. It's important and great fun to know the why and the how of things. You didn't know. Now you do. Science is all around us. And to know is to ask questions, answer, and ask more questions. You didn't know, now you do. Here, you can also invent things. The sky is the limit. Everything that passes through us, passes through everyone. Knowledge knows no boundaries. Our doors are always open, because we want this to be your place as well. Pavilion of Knowledge, now you know. The Pavilion of Knowledge is located at Parque das Nações, where the international exhibition Expo 98 took place over 20 years ago. The Oceans, a heritage for the future, was the theme of the Lisbon International Exhibition and one of their most emblematic thematic buildings the Pavilion of the Knowledge of the Seas was later converted into the Pavilion of Knowledge Ciencia Viva Science Center. And it is right here that I challenge you to start a journey from ocean to space and from above to landing in Expo Dubai. Are you ready? Follow me. Welcome to Fishenarium, an immersive experience that invites you to dive in the deeps of the ocean. The ocean is the most fascinating place on our planet and marine life is essential for the future of humankind. But unfortunately, the ocean is also the final destination of all the plastics that we produce, use and discard. And do you know how much plastics ends up in the ocean every hour you have four options one maritime shipping container five maritime shipping container 10 maritime shipping containers or 35 maritime shipping containers Unfortunately, the correct answer is answer 
D. 35 maritime shipping containers. Between 4.8 and 12.7 billion kilograms of plastic reach the ocean each year, the equivalent to 35 containers dumped into the ocean every hour. For marine animals, plastics are often a deadly danger. They can either get trapped in plastic waste or mistake it for food. And speaking of food, can you guess in which foodstuffs plastics were already found? Bottled water, fish, seafood or marine salt? Well, plastic is everywhere and as it is not biodegradable, it breaks down into tiny particles and accumulates everywhere, especially in the sea, on beaches and in the digestive system of many animals like fish and selfish. So the four answers are correct. When we eat these animals or drink bottled water, we may be ingesting small amounts of plastic Every week, we ingest the equivalent in plastic of a credit card. After a month, we have already eaten the equivalent of a small Lego brick. And in our lifetimes, we may have ingested 20 kilograms of plastic. Incredible, isn't it? Well, and now I propose you a research activity with everyday objects. All you will need is a sample of sand collected in a beach, a river or a lagoon near you, sea water, a tray, a magnifier and a sieve, like this. So, let's start. All you have to do is sift the sand to the tray. You may have some help of sea water, which will sift the plastic objects of the size that we are looking for, between 1 and 5 millimeters, and then collect the sample into a small portion of water with higher salinity than seawater. Because due to the low density of the plastic particles, they will float to the surface, to the surface, and all you have to do is to observe the particles with the magnifier and note down any feature that you observe. And now I challenge you to compare different sand samples from different locations. I have one more question for you. How deep was plastic found in the ocean? Well, once more, you have four possible answers. 200 meters, 1000 meters, 5000 meters or more than 10,000 meters. And the right answer is the last one. The Mariana Trench, the deepest point in the ocean, extends nearly 11,000 meters down in a remote part of the Pacific Ocean. But even one of the most remote places on Earth couldn't avoid plastic pollution. A plastic bag 
like those given away at grocery stores, is now the deepest known piece of plastic trash found at a depth of 10,975 meters inside the Mariana Trench. But where this plastic came from? Will we find the answer here at the Pavilion of Knowledge? Let's see. Explora, a true forest of natural wonders. A tornado! Wind is a very relevant element in this story. When we don't put the waste in the proper place, wind carries them into the ocean and to, due to erosion, packaging, bags, bottles or toys hands in small pieces that can easily be swallowed by marine animals. So remember, always put the waste in the proper waste bin and in enclosed containers. Okay, so let's move on with our mission. Tchana! Welcome to the Circus of Science Experience, a place that combines the discovery of an amusement park with the emotion of a circus. Don't get distracted by all these colors and fun and get tuned for any clue. Someone left a glass here. Avoid leaving your objects or toys forgotten in the park or on the beach, because if they go into the ocean, they can become dangerous traps for marine animals. Let's keep looking for the source of ocean plastic pollution. water unfiltered exhibition i have the feeling that here we will find more answers to the question where does plastic pollution came from follow me look a house and a shower cabin We found it. We found the main source of microplastic pollution. Some of our clothing, cleaning and hygiene products and cosmetics are sources of microplastics. When manufactured, washed and worn, clothing made of synthetic fibers lose tiny plastic fibers that end up in the environment and do you know how much plastic hands up into the ocean each time you do your laundry? Well, try to guess. One million microfibers? Three million microfibers? Five million microfibers or nine million microfibers? Yep, exactly. The right answer is 9 million microfibers. Plastic particles washed off from products such as synthetic clothes contribute up to 35 of the primary plastic that is polluting our ocean. Every time we do our laundry, on average of 9 million microfibers are released into wastewater treatment plants that cannot filter them. Because of that, these fibers end up in the ocean also, just by wearing synthetic clothes, plastic fibers are constantly being released in the air. Be aware that these fibers and microbeads 
slip undetected through wastewater treatment plants and out to the ocean where they are transported by sea currents and remain there without decomposing for centuries and with negative impacts to the ecosystems. Be ecologically responsible by choosing natural fiber clothing and avoiding cosmetics and hygiene and cleaning products with microbeads in its composition. Apps like Beat the Microbeads help you to choose a toothpaste or a face cream without microplastics in its composition. Alternatively, I invite you to produce your own body scrub based on sugar and salt, for instance. What you buy is how you reduce your plastic footprint. Your choices matter, so be part of the solution. We face a global challenge and we need to know how much plastic is there in the ocean. Where does it go? Where does it come from? And scientists are committed to answering these questions. And help came in also from the space. Isn't it there so, Carolina? <laughs>